Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find an unknown side length given the perimeter. And remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. So we can find the perimeter of something by adding all of the side lengths. Let's jump into number one, where we have a triangle with a perimeter of 12 feet and then given side lengths of five feet and three feet. We need to figure out this side length right here. So how do we do that? Well, we basically need to use what we know to figure out what we don't know. We know the perimeter is 12. We know two of the side lengths, and we know that we need to add all of the side lengths to find the perimeter. So we know that five feet plus three feet plus that missing side length will equal the perimeter 12 feet. So we can set this up as five feet plus three feet plus what equals that perimeter of 12 feet. So this is just like how we would normally find the perimeter. We're adding all of the side lengths. And remember, the order we add the side lengths in doesn't matter, as long as they're all included. Now we need to figure out that missing side length. So next, we need to add the side lengths that we know. So five feet plus three feet. That gives us eight feet. So we have eight feet plus what equals that perimeter of 12 feet. Now we need to find what makes that true. Well, eight plus four equals 12. Eight feet plus four feet gives us that perimeter of 12 feet. So our missing side length for number one, four feet. So this side length right here is four feet. And one last thing we can do is check the original addition problem to see if this works. So let's plug in four feet here. So we have five feet plus three feet is eight feet plus four feet gives us that perimeter of 12 feet. So we are good to go. Let's move on to number two where we have a quadrilateral. So four sides and specifically this is called a trapezoid. We have a perimeter of 38 meters with given side lengths of 10 meters, 12 meters, and 10 meters. We need to find this side length right here. So let's add our side lengths here. We have 10 meters plus 12 meters plus 10 meters plus what equals that perimeter of 38 meters. Now let's add what we were given. So 10 meters plus 12 meters is 22 meters, plus 10 meters is 32 meters. So 32 meters plus what gives us that perimeter of 38 meters? So we need to figure out what makes this true. 32 plus what equals 38? Well, 32 plus six equals 38. 32 meters plus six meters equals 38 meters. So our missing side length for number two, six meters. So this side right here is six meters. And we can double check here. So let's plug in six right here. We have 10 meters plus 12 meters is 22 meters, plus 10 meters is 32 meters, plus six meters equals 38 meters. Let's move on to numbers three and four. Taking a look at numbers three and four here, let's start with number three, where we have a pentagon with a perimeter of 34 inches. We are given side lengths of five inches, seven inches, seven inches, five inches, and then we need to find this side length right here. So let's set this up. We have five inches plus seven inches plus seven inches plus five inches plus what? equals the perimeter of 34 inches. Now let's add the given side lengths. So five inches plus seven inches is 12 inches, plus seven inches is 19 inches, plus five inches is 24 inches. So we have 24 inches plus what equals that perimeter of 34 inches? 
So we need to figure out what makes this true. 24 plus what equals 34? Well, 24 plus 10 equals 34. 24 inches plus 10 inches gives us that perimeter of 34 inches. So our missing side length here, 10 inches. So again, the missing side length, 10 inches. And we can double check this by plugging it back into our original addition problem there. And let's add these. So 5 inches plus 7 inches is 12 inches, plus 7 inches is 19 inches, plus 5 inches is 24 inches, plus 10 inches gives us that perimeter of 34 inches. So we are correct. Let's move on to number 4. And the perimeter is 49 centimeters. We have given side lengths of 21 centimeters, 9 centimeters, 12 centimeters, and then this side length is our missing side length. Let's set this up. So 21 centimeters plus 9 centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus what equals the perimeter of 49 centimeters. Let's add what we were given. So 21 centimeters plus 9 centimeters is 30 centimeters plus 12 centimeters is 42 centimeters. Plus what gives us that perimeter of 49 centimeters? So what's going to make this true? 42 plus what equals 49? 42 plus 7 equals 49. So our missing side length here is 7 centimeters. So this side right here is 7 centimeters. Let's plug in 7 here to our original addition problem just to double check. So 21 centimeters plus 9 centimeters is 30 centimeters, plus 12 centimeters is 42 centimeters, plus 7 centimeters gives us that perimeter of 49 centimeters. Let's move on to numbers 5 and 6, and you're going to try these two examples on your own. Taking a look at numbers 5 and 6, these are your practice problems. So you're going to try these on your own. So grab paper and a pencil and find the missing side lengths. Feel free to pause the video and work through these or let the video play and I'll give you a minute and a half. Feel free to jump ahead to the answers when you're ready. Go ahead and start. Okay, so let's check your answers here, and if you need more time, press pause and continue working. If you're ready, let's take a look at the answers. For number five, the missing side length, 13 meters. For number six, the missing side length, nine feet. And remember, it doesn't matter what order we add the side lengths in, as long as all of the side lengths are included, we will get the correct perimeter. So if your work looks a little different than mine, but you still got the same side lengths that I did, you are correct. 
So there you have it. There's how to find an unknown side length given the perimeter. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.